Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel of Ladies Gallery and welcome back to my gallery of all things lovely. Today's video is going to be a little short and very sweet because I have two brand new Loungefly Disney Princess bags to share with you today and I'm so excited. I just bought them recently and um, one of them is actually my mother's Mother's Day present and she was so excited to have it and to use it and she's so happy with it. It's her favorite fandom. So we'll get to that one first. But before I get into the bags, um, just a note about the bags in the background. These are my current Disney Lounge Fly bags. I've gone over all of these bags with you in detail in a previous video. If you're interested in seeing my Lounge Fly collection video, I'll leave it linked in the description down below. But let's get into it. I'm, I'm so happy to finally be able to share these bags with you. Okay, so first up is this gorgeous Disney mermaid crossbody bag. This is the bag that I got my mom for Mother's Day and she's absolutely in love with it. She's loved Disney Little Mermaid forever. It was like one of the first movies that I watched when I was a baby. Um, and I just love this bag so much. As soon as I saw it, I said my mom has to have it and even still has the tags on it because I told her not to use it until I filmed the video. Uh, so she's been very patient to use this, but very excited to finally have it in her collection. So this bag is really pretty and it has a lot of adorable features to it. So as you can see here, we have Prince Eric's ship with the moon in the background, Ariel down here in the ocean along with Flounder. And what's really awesome about this bag is that these little stars up here glow in the dark. Uh, I don't know how I will be able to show that to you guys on camera, um, but we did test it and they do have a very light glow to them, like a little twinkle, like a star, which is really, really pretty. And these are the tags that came with it. So it says Disney Princess. It has all the information on the inside. And this is the Loungefly Disney The Little Mermaid Aerial Fireworks Cross Body Bag. And then we have Glows in the Dark. There's that little symbol there, so it shows you exactly what glows in the dark. And I love this little top handle. This top handle is so cute, so she can carry it in her hand, uh, in the crook of her arm, or as a crossbody bag. And the crossbody strap is in the same blue as the bag, which is really, really beautiful royal blue. And it is adjustable with the silver hardware. And I think that's just an absolutely beautiful touch. Okay. And on the back, we have the Disney Lounge Fly plate in blue and silver. And then down here, we have Sebastian, who looks very nervous as usual. <laughs> Ariel's going to go out and, you know, go on her little adventures that he doesn't approve of with the fireworks here. And it's very smooth. It has like a matte finish. This bag is really lovely. A lot of care and thought went into the creation of this bag and that's one of the reasons why I love Loungefly so much is the quality is just amazing. Okay, it does have a snap closure on the top, has a very strong snap closure. And on the inside we have a wallet and we'll go over that in just a second. Here's the inside. So it has a slip pocket in the back. It has that fireworks print on the inside and it is a very deep open space so there's no like dividers or anything like that that will get in the way of what you want to put in the bag the construction of it is really really pretty and then on the bottom we just have a plain panel blue panel down here which is very strong and keeps the bag upright it is more of a structured bag you know, it doesn't flop to the side or anything like that where you have to put in a bag insert for it to keep its shape. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the artwork. Just a really amazing bag all around. And so to go with the bag, I couldn't just get the bag and not the wallet. You know, I had to get her the entire set. This is the matching wallet. This is the... Loungefly Disney The Little Mermaid Aerial Fireworks Zip Around Wallet. 
and it's in this gorgeous blue. So we have the blue Disney Lounge fly plate in the front. We have Prince Eric's ship over here to the side with the fireworks and Ariel jumping into the water towards the ship. And this is also done very, very nicely. The hardware is silver to match the bag. And here is Ariel Flounder and Sebastian looking up at the ship when she first sees it. And she's just amazed and I love Ariel in this. It's just really, really pretty. This is very different. I haven't seen a lounge fly um, Ariel bag like this before showing her in motion, you know, um, a scene from the movie, which is really cool. And then on the inside is really, really pretty as well. So we have the card slots here on the side, a slot here. This just has the tag for the wallet. Over here you have your ID slot and um, is there another space? No. These don't, those are all sewn down. So over here you would put your ID, some card slots, and I would say maybe over here use this for cash or receipts and things like that. There's no zipper compartment for change, but I wouldn't want to put change in this wallet anyway. It would mess it up. It's just so pretty and I would just want to keep it in pr pristine condition. And um, I know my mom is going to take excellent care of this bag. She's going to enjoy it so much. She was so excited when she saw it, and I was so happy that she was happy. Um, so happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> I know you have already got the bag, but now you get to use it. Okay, the next bag I'm going to show you is of my favorite Disney princess. And if you've watched a few of my videos, I have mentioned my favorite Disney princess before. I believe in the Disney uh, Mini Brands video, I may have mentioned it, because we did get a toy. Um, that was this princess. So if you have watched that video, you may already know which princess I'm about to show you. And this is the Loungefly Sleeping Beauty Princess Aurora crossbody bag. I've already taken all the tags off of this bag because I've wanted to use it and I was prepping it to use it, like putting in different things, seeing what would fit. And I'm so excited to finally show this to you guys so I can get it ready to take with me everywhere. This bag is absolutely stunning. We have um, Princess Aurora here when she was Briar Rose, walking through the Enchanted Forest with all the little animals. I'll bring it up closer so you can take a better look at the artwork of her. She's really beautiful. The owl up here, some trees. And then the gorgeous castle with the little fairies over here on the side. I couldn't, I didn't catch them at first when I first got this bag. I was staring at it for a while and I was like, oh my God, the fairies are there. They're so pretty. <laughs> but the construction and the artwork in this bag is so absolutely gorgeous. So this panel here is sewn in separately comes up and along here the castle and then down to Briar Rose over here that's all sewn in separately and then this is the background which is the actual artwork on the bag so this is sticks out a little bit from the bag which I really like because it kind of gives it a 3d effect not like actual 3d you know where it's sticking out all the way but just a little bit just so it gives it that extra little pop and the ombre from the purple into the white and then into the blue is so pretty. And that continues all the way around. So here you have the darker purple to the lighter purple into the blue. And then in the back is our beautiful Princess Aurora with her prince. And the dress is changing from the blue to the pink. If I was Princess Aurora, I would have preferred the pink, but that's just me. <laughs> I would not liked it that they've changed it to blue, um, even though the blue was very pretty. So here you have the light blue Disney Lounge Fly plate up here, and the hardware is in all gold. It's a very pretty gold, you know, it's very shiny, very nice. It's not like an antique gold, which is nice on some of the bags, but something like this. Um, you definitely want that shiny gold. And it's so pretty, it's like they're in the clouds, and it's just them two on the dance floor. 
and the artwork for this is really stunning just absolutely beautiful it's perfect in every way i love the handles they're a good size so you can wear it you know handheld or in the crook of your arm but one of my favorite parts of this bag is the strap so what loungefly has done with this beauty is they made it into a gold chain strap so so instead of having a solid blue uh, leather or faux leather strap as they did with the aerial bag they gave this one a chain to add you know just a little bit more glam to it which i really love and appreciate and then on the top they added this um, blue strap for your shoulder and it's also adjustable with the gold hardware and I just adjusted it here to the shortest length because that's what I need for using it as a crossbody. So I wanted to switch between, you know, using it as a crossbody and putting it on my shoulder. Um, but this is a very long strap, so I will mostly be using this as a crossbody bag. And this strap is just really pretty, and I love how the blue matches perfectly. The inside of the bag is also gorgeous. It has all three of the fairies repeated throughout the lining of the bag, which is so, so nice. I love that purple color. It does have a back zipper compartment as well, which is pretty deep. You know, it's not too shallow. And it has one slip pocket here in the front, which is a generous size for a crossbody bag of this size. You know, sometimes they don't do the interior slip pockets and the zip pocket. Um, I think one of my backpacks does not have any interior pockets at all, just the exterior pockets. So this bag is a lot more versatile and will fit a lot more stuff comfortably and you can organize it just a little bit better than other lounge fly bags. But in addition to this beauty, I also picked up The matching wallet now it's still in plastic because I just did just get it a couple of days ago and I wanted to wait until I was filming this for you guys to open it up and take a look at it completely so let's unbag this gorgeous wallet oh, this wallet is stunning it is an exact match for the crossbody bag as well as for the backpack. So I know they also made a backpack with the same design, you know, just in a different shape because it's a backpack. This wallet is so pretty. So as you can see, it has the cutout detail again of the castle, but this time that cutout detail goes all the way to the bottom. So there's no like separation here for briar rose or anything like that. It's just this back panel here that's separate. And you have little birds flying up in the sky. Again, with the uh, little fairies flying around. And it's the exact same picture as the front of the bag. We have Briar Rose with the beautiful castle. And on the back, we have um, Princess Aurora dancing with the prince. And the same image that's on the back of the bag with the clouds surrounding her, as well as with the blue Disney Lounge fly plate. And this wallet is really cool. It has a lot of space. So the gold hardware again to match the bag and it also has like a pinkish purple lining with the gold zipper going all the way around, which I thought was really pretty. Like they didn't just keep that blue, like the rest of the wallet and the bag, they made that a different color to set it off a little bit. Okay, and we have some packaging material here. Just take that off. And on the zipper compartment, it says, and they lived happily ever after in the same font as they used in the movie. And this is so pretty. So you have your zipper compartment here, which is lined in the same lining as the bag throughout the wallet. So it's like a gel packet, again with the fairies. Lots of space in this wallet. This isn't like the Little Mermaid one. This one is a lot bigger. So you have more card slots here with the ID slot here, as well as two compartments here on the side. So 
So I'm going to be using one for cash and then one for receipts and things like that. And you also have the space back here behind the zipper. I love this baby blue. This is so pretty. It just sets off the collection so beautifully. And this is the Loungefly Disney Princess Castle Series Sleeping Beauty Zip Around Wallet. Just in case you guys wanted the technical name, if you wanted to look it up. What I'll do is I will link um, these products in the description below if they're still available with Loungefly. Their collections are expanding so fast and everything is just so amazing. It's hard for me to keep up. <laughs> Every time I check the website, I'm like, oh, I want something else. It's just so pretty. So because I'm going to be moving into this set today, I wanted to find something that would match with them, with the theme. Um, you know, kind of keep in with the Sleeping Beauty theme, but also be functional enough to carry around my stuff from day to day. So I went on to Mercari and I found this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cosmetic pouch. And this is by Fab New York. So it's the Disney Princess Fab New York cosmetic case, and it's a two-piece cosmetic case. So first you have the outline of Sleeping Beauty here. I hope you guys can see her there. And then on the inside, it has another pouch. And that says, um, they say if you dream a thing more than once, it's sure to come true which is a very beautiful mantra to live by. So we have these two cosmetic cases here. And I was thinking about keeping them separate and putting some stuff in this one and then the rest into this cosmetic pouch here. And then just so you guys can see the silhouette a little bit better. There she is, sleeping away. And I thought that this would go really beautiful um, with this set right here. And I can't wait to put it together. So what I'm going to do is move all of my stuff from my current bag into this Sleeping Beauty bag and also the wallet and into the cosmetic case. And I'll be right back to show you how everything worked out. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I would just like to report that everything was able to fit into the bag very snugly, if not a little bit too snug. <laughs> So I have the sunglasses on the top and I have my little um, like electronics pouch on the top as well. And then here's just a look at the inside. I have the wallet, um, the little pink pouch which I was able to put my pens and face masks into. I have a antibacterial spray here in the corner and then everything else was able to fit into my pouch. I have shared. Um, before in what's in my bag videos exactly what it is I put in my bag and um, if you guys are interested I'll leave the playlist link down below so you guys can take a look but it's pretty much always the same stuff I'm just really happy I was able to get everything in there you know nice and organized and it doesn't stretch out the bag or anything like that um, the only thing that I wasn't able to get in there was my phone and my keys Clip it up there and then I'm all good to go. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys that this one does have feet. So the Little Mermaid one was just the plain panel. This one has, has little gold feet at the bottom along with the panel to help it, you know, stay stable and to keep it shape. But that's all I have for you today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're into all things girly and lovely. I do bag unboxings, shop with me videos, mystery box unboxings, uh, collection videos, and pretty much everything girly and lovely. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you part of our gallery. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! This bag is just so pretty.